Yes, good morning, my dear friends. Prashant again. We are going to learn as we have discussed about the subject, obviously English, and the topic which is written on the blackboard. See, there are n number of things we can discuss in English. In the last two periods, we discussed, if you remember, in our first video, we discussed about nouns, their types, types of sentences and all. And in the second video, we discussed about many things like use of verbs, use of nouns, then some tips to speak in English and there are some different things. Now in this video, I think that you have enjoyed the last two videos and hopefully you will enjoy this video as well. We are going to discuss about the technical part somewhat of English language that is the script, speech, alphabet, phonetics and all that. So now my dear friends, let me introduce you once again to these topics. Now as we are learning English and you know to pronounce any word as I told you in the last periods to pronounce any word you should know how to pronounce it. For example, in Hindi, if I'm saying Hame, so we write Ha and then Ma and A ki matra that is Hame. If in English, I have to say introduction. So I'm going to write the spelling I-N-T-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-O-N, introduction. In the same manner, my dear friends, today we are going to discuss about the script, the speech, the alphabet and the phonetics. Now what is a script? Script, those are the signs, right? If we want to go exactly by the definition of script, then we can say that writing using a particular alphabet, how to write that particular alphabet, that sign, right? That is a script. Then the next one, because of unavailability of the space, I am not writing these things on the blackboard. We can straight away read it. Now, what is speech? Speech, bolna. The expression of or the ability to express thoughts and feeling by articulating sound. Awaj ka alag alag abhinay karke, jo hum bolte hain. That is speech. You must have listened always on the 26th Jan and on the 15th August or sometimes on the 2nd of October as well, we do go for speeches. The persons who came arrives as guests deliver speeches and we listen to it. So that is the another speech and this one as I have already told you. Now what is the alphabet? The total set of alphabet. The definition is a set of letters or symbols in a fixed order used to represent the basic set of speech sound of a language is called alphabet. You know, and after that, the last one, the phonetics, we are going to discuss this one as well in this video. What is phonetics? So phonetics is a method for teaching the reading and writing of an alphabetical language. So this is actually phonetics. Now, as I have already covered this point as well, what is phonetics? If we want to discuss about any language in the world, what we should know? How to write the first thing. Before that, how to pronounce? We'll go in detail, but before that, let me quote one simple example. You know, as you all have kids, maybe you have a brother, you have a cousin or anybody, you must have seen lot many kids. And if you watch them carefully, when they learn a language, any type of language, you know, I always get amazed. Don't you ever think like it? How can a baby speak any language wherever he or she is born? How is that possible? Means 
for example i born and brought up in nagpur or in maharashtra so my mother language is marathi and i can speak marathi very well because it's my mother language same like that if somebody is born there in england that is his native place then he can speak fluently in english before going school huh, i am talking about if we have not even touched or seen the school before that also we can speak the language very fluently how come why it happens so it happens mostly because of the surrounding and the organs which we have to speak we can say that the organs of speech you know i'm going to show you one uh, diagram and we are going to discuss it as well let's come back so while we speak in marathi if we speak you look at the small boy what that boy does for the whole period of one year from the day one of his life to the first year the whole 12 months what he does he just listens listening is the best capacity listening is the great thing in the world you know if we listen if you listen you can be a very good speaker if you listen very quietly what that boy or girl does he or she just listens and listens you can look at him while you are speaking if you look at him abruptly so you will see that he is listening with full concentration how he wants to listen to you he wants to know everything because he is new in the world now here in the world of phonics uh, phonetics as well when the boy or girl starts speaking what he says firstly he says m mm, a uh, firstly he only says a uh, then he goes for e or m then ma that's why a boy or a girl always says the first letter of his language that is the name for his mother maybe mother maybe i maybe ma or something like that so how he does it because whatever i have here with me that is my face right my nose my eyes my ears tongue and everything you also have the same the boy also have the same but you know when it comes to speak the things are not perfect when he or she is just a kid when he or she grows up that times these things works organs of speech now let's look at this board now if you look at this board there are many things written i'll put the you know photo of this board in the video you can see it now let me tell you from the side if you look at this photo there are n number of names given here the photo is of our mouth in marathi and hindi grammar also when you go for it you have to understand what are the uh, places where the word originates in our mouth you know in marathi or hindi kantha danta austya talavya and murdhanya are the five places where the word or the sound originates especially phonetics and all these things deals with the sound the sound is very important so these are the things in your mouth you have the hard palate that is the upper side see if you touch at the upper side of uh, your mouth there you feel something hard that is the upper or hard palate then you have teeth then you have upper lip and lower lip as it is shown here then you have tongue and the tip of the tongue see the tip and then the larynx this one and after that inside we have two holes that is the food pipe and the air pipe the air pipe goes from the nozzle that is nasal cavity which is mentioned here and this is the food pipe in between that this is called the mouth cavity i'm telling you all this 
because these are useful when you produce a sound right now this mouth cavity also has one little thing which is there inside the mouth cavity and what is that thing this word uvula relates with the fleshy part which is there in the mouth cavity you know because of that fleshy structure we are able to produce the sounds the consonants and the vowels mind you uh, we can say parjeev in marathi right that particular small part which you can see in the advertisement of wigs or all that fluctuates in your mouth that is very responsible this part you will have this particular part is very important to you know make sound if we don't have this we cannot speak we cannot be a good singer as it is said that this one the, uh, the density of this particular one if it is thinner then the person is good singer or well, that just saying i am not confirm about it yes so these are all the things now this is the trachea and this particular again is a full diagram of organs of speech now when let's come back when i want to say organs of speech now i am speaking with you see organs of speech i'm speaking and i'm speaking with the help of my tongue my mouth right so there are some words or letters which you can produce without any disturbance and those are called the vowels see if you want to just come to the next point vowels and consonants now what are the vowels see the vowels are the ones which you can produce through your mouth without any disturbance if you say a e i o u the sound straight away comes from your mouth and there's another one that is y sometimes y is also treated as the vowel you know i'm going to post the examples of these as well as the monosyllabic disyllabic and the different types of words in the video now these are the vowels again a e i o u and the remaining letters as you know there are 26 letters in the alphabet but my dear friends my new there are not only 26 there are more than that see the signs which we are writing as the smaller case or the upper case are 26 but the sounds are not 26 my dear friends the sounds are 44 in english there are 44 sounds and i'm going to show you the another uh the another photo which i have with me after a while so what's the difference between the letters the symbols and the sounds you know that we are going to see in the next page or the next topic see i hope that you must have understood that these are the vowels a e i o u and y sometimes right and the remaining letters we need one more period to understand all these things in very much detail in the coming videos we will discuss about in detail about these things now here we are coming to the final topic that is key to phonetics now what is key to phonetics now what exactly it phonetics i have tried to told, told you and whatever i have told you you can comment you can share my video you can tell me if you want any type of different things in it or if you want to give any suggestion you can comment there is no issue but yes now let's come to the last point that is key to phonetics now when we talk about phonetics as we have already said the script speech alphabet and phonetics the last point is phonetics now when we are discussing about phonetics 
the sound there are three types of sounds we make as we have already discussed about the vowels those a e i o u now there are pure vowels diphthongs and consonants now what are the pure vowels what are the consonants and what are the diphthongs if we learn english like this i can bet that you can pronounce any word there will be no issue but we don't go by these things and that's why sometimes we fumble right anybody in the world is not perfect so there no issue if we don't know these things no problem but yes we can learn so the first thing is pure vowels now let me show you the chart again now these are the c the pure vowels consonants and diphthongs now you must be watching that the pure vowels are 12 in number the consonants are 24 in number and the diphthongs are 20 in number right now let's discuss about them in detail now i'll need a minute you can keep quiet and uh, uh, i'll write it on the blackboard and then we'll discuss it so please hold on with me my dear friends now this is this sound is e when we say feet so this is e right and when we say fit this one this is small e and we say fit now what's the difference this is what just uh, just remember in hindi what we do imli ishwar see small e capital e in hindi and here in english if we want to pronounce it as capital then it's the phonetic symbol this is the symbol there are all symbols which i have already told you 12 pure vowels then 24 consonants and 20 diphthongs and i'm going to post this photo as well in the video so this is capital e and this is small e by this type we write if i want to tell you correctly see in phonetics language we write fit actually the spelling of fit is this but we write fit this is the spelling of fit and this is the phonetics that is the script that I, that is the presentation actually it should be pronounced like this when you pronounce like this then only it will be fit otherwise you will write down this and you will say fit it's okay the symbol the symbol that matters my dear friends so in order to pronounce the words correctly you need to focus on the symbols right now as i told you i'm going to post these uh, all the letters and their signs in the video as well as i'm going to tell you some apps to where you can go you can download and you can enjoy okay so my dear friends let me just read it out for you you can listen e then e and all these are connected with our mother language okay a now in hindi we can say a but in english it is the symbol is like this the example is bed 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 then a the symbol is like somewhat like x you have to be very particular while uh, writing these symbols okay so the example is pack a look at the sound 
the sound is very important a a a a then it is a bear same like that you can say uh, you can tell the spelling of cat a the sound of a or a that is a and there are n number of spellings i have with me i'll put some photos as well in the group where the uh, examples are already given and uh, my dear friends uh, let me tell you these now the important useful apps if you look here and if you watch these very carefully all are related to phonetics phonics fun for kids then abc spellings phonics sounds and bright kid phonics now these are the apps and not only these if you search in the google play store you can find many but these are some helpful you can go you can enjoy you can download and you can practice okay so i hope my dear friends whatever little we have learned today you must have enjoyed the last thing before i should conclude my topic pure vowels are 12 again and the consonants are 24 diphthongs what are the diphthongs just let me tell you one example only <coughs> when we say page so the sound is a page c age ab now if you remember hindi there are many examples c page cage stage you can say maze but it is different ha huh? age 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 the pronunciation is age now there are many things which are really very interesting but we need time and we will be doing it in the last, next videos let me just tell you lastly the consonants which are the consonants vyanjan vowels are the shuddha swar that is pure sa vowels wo 12 hai then vyanjans those are the consonants those are 24 ye kaun se hai let me tell you and then we will say bye okay pa that is my name then b it is clear ha huh? here the words which i am reading there is no problem you can just write p that is p then b that is b then t cha then d da then k kha then g ga then cha now see the cha is very different see the this is the sign of cha in english right then j ja. this is also different this is cha then j ja. actually it is like this this is j ja. so these are very useful if you came to know this then it is very very easy to pronounce the words okay let's move to the next f v there's a difference between v and v v my dear friends look here this is v and this is v so there is a slight difference then there is z s d th again the th sound this is theta in maths we say theta so this is th then there's the this is the and sh then sh ha ma na la ya wa all these are the sounds i hope with this little introduction i definitely would like to say this is just a little introduction we need much more time to complete all these things okay so my dear friends i hope you must have enjoyed today's video please do comment tell me 
what you want in the coming videos. Thanks a lot. Bye. Stay home. Stay safe.